The birds are singing outside my window. Put your trust in the Lord today. It is raining. It's raining, pouring down rain here in Michigan on this February the 24th. Looking at our early spring, 2017. Good morning, you two, beloved brothers and sisters. Gather around, pull up a chair this morning. Put your trust, not in man. Put your trust in the Lord. I'm going to begin our day with a little bit of coffee. Let me know what you are going to share with Pastor Dave. Are you going to have some coffee, some green tea? Where's my Dr. Pepper girl at? Where does she go? Are you going to have some mocha? Let me know what you're going to share in the comment section below with PG. Thank you. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. This ministry is so blessed. But again, put your trust in the Lord. Sometimes we try to do things on our own. We try to jump in right in front of God and try to work it out ourselves. But when we take a step back and let God work, oh, he just goes to work. And let me take you to scripture. Let me take you to uh, the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter three, verses five through six. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. I cannot stress it enough. Put your trust in the Lord. He can take an impossible situation. Make it possible. That's exactly what he has done with our crisis with our ministry and outreach to the homeless. Are you ready? I hope you're all sitting down. We're not out of the woods yet, but we can breathe. We can get up this morning. I can get up this morning and take a deep breath. I want to thank Sister Anna, precious Sister Anna, who came through, it's the 24th, came through with an offering to our ministry of $600, and that saves our a bank account from uh, a, a, an overdraft that we could never recover from. $600 from Sister Anna and also precious, my beautiful, precious Sister Catania. Oh, I love these Catania so much. Her and her wonderful family, I got to meet them a few months back and uh, they are just a joy in my life. And she has a heart for Jesus like I have never, never seen. I want to thank Tanya and her family for a gift to our ministry and outreach to the homeless of $50. And look what I got. Wait a minute. You, you better still sit down because let me share with you what I got in the mail. The UPS driver brought. Look what uh, I got in the mail. I want to thank Sister Catania for sending these supplies for the homeless. Got two boxes, two big boxes came yesterday, and uh, oh, very much needed, very much needed. A lot of good things in here that the homeless can use. And uh, Catania, thank you, I love you very much. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sister Catania. I think it was the UPS, or maybe it was the the mail. They don't ring the doorbell anymore. I just stumble on boxes when I go to go outside and open my front door and there were the boxes again. Thank you, Anna, and thank you, Catania. God, when you allow him to work in your life, in your situation, when you have trust in the Lord, he comes through, he shines through, and he has, he loves this ministry and outreach to the homeless. This is his ministry, it's not mine. This is his ministry and how Jesus loved the poor. I love you guys, I'll be back uh, a little bit later and i give you some more updates and just in case you didn't hear, a precious sister, Margaret Elaine Ferris, passed away and she went to be with the Lord and uh, still all our prayers uh, for comfort and peace for her family and all of her loved ones, many, many friends. I will always cherish her 
in my heart. Whatever you're facing today, whatever you're going through, whatever storms are raging in your life, take a step back and believe and put your trust in the Lord. God bless you.